Yeah. And so you, you take a look at these people, and these people are just a remnant of other people, because it, it said that they were on a number of islands that they discovered, you know, in that same area, a number of groups of these small people. Uh, to me, this is the, the beauty of the human race, is that we are so adaptable. So, I mean, you, there are people that live out in the Sahara Desert where there's never rains, never rained in 100 years. Unbelievable. How is yeah. it possible? That's like the, uh, I mean, the, not human, but the sand cat. You know, it's like, how does a tiny little cute cat live out in the desert where there's no yeah. water? Yep. They're like, well, you know, when it eat, when it finally catches a snake or a lizard, the, the juices that it gets <laughs> while eating it, yeah. that's, that's the hydration it gets. It doesn't yeah. get water. It gets the yep. water from its prey. Talk about uh, talk about adapting, right? Right. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Um, and you know, I, I had to cover Japan because I feel like I'm still seeing more news coming out about this. Uh, I, I should have put this up on the slide deck, but they're finding more of these underwater underwater settlements, right? There's right. that sea is dotted with who knows how many islands. And when you again, when you when you go back and you realize, OK, let's consider when the sea level was lower, what were we really working with here? And there this could be a whole 